Okay, in this video we're going to learn how to do a page break and why it's important in a Kindle ebook. Uh, very often people get into the habit of sort of writing and then when they want a new page they just start clicking uh, the, the enter key until they get to the top of the next page. Um, and normally in a document that would be fine, except this puts in all of the spaces that are registering in a computer at Kindle. So you don't want all of these big spaces because it'll look horrible on the Kindle ebook. So let's undo this here. So when you want a new page, you're going to come to the last character, which would be the period here. And then you're going to holding you're going to hold the control key and hit enter. And that is going to throw up a code that says page break. And it's going to know automatically to go to a new page. Okay, and then sometimes it might throw up an extra space here on the next page. I like to delete that so that you're starting off with the first character. And then you can put a new heading for a new chapter or a new section, whatever you want. So that's how you do a proper page break for Kindle eBooks.